Good morning, my beautiful collective. I hope you have a wonderful day. Good morning, collective. You can ring my bell, ring my bell. Ring a ring a ring. Oh, how we doing today? Woo. God protects me and God fights my battles. No weapon formed in spirit or physical against me shall prosper. I'm highly favored and protected from all evil, as is my beautiful collective. Woo, y'all, let go and let God, okay? Let go and let God. It's a beautiful energy. You know, Virgo season, the hermit. Let's focus on that, going in. Uh, a lot of you, I want you focusing on your businesses, uh, your uh, your hobbies, your focus, your work. Um, areas that you've kind of let go to the wayside, start paying them a little more attention. You know, maybe for some of you, it's your family. For some, it could be your housework. Um, different things that you need to start focusing on. A lot of you, your spiritual work, right? Going in and getting grounded, getting centered. Meditating, meditating. You got a question, you got a problem, put it out there. Put it out there to the universe if you're not uh, religious or spiritual. Take it to your God. Pray on it, pray on it. Archangel Michael's really good at coming in. But Archangel Michael doesn't dick around, right? <laughs> it's beautiful energy. Beautiful energy. Ooh. Let's throw some cards and see what's up, Collective. I'm working on getting the individual signs out for September. The last ones I did, I'll get you through. Uh, I'm thinking about various formats. Uh, and I've gotten a, a bunch of new different cards. Uh, getting the energies off them to kind of bring you a more rounded type reading. I'm getting a lot of business focus. So a lot of you are, are, are thinking about your businesses, right? Thinking about uh, doing the upgrade, right? Let me upgrade you, upgrade you. Really focusing, really focusing. Yeah, uh, seven of cups here. You got options. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Beautiful energy here. Seven of cups, right? Uh, and a lot of you, I think it's business decisions. Some of you, it's work. Maybe some of you, it's relocating for work. Uh some want to probably move to the city and some want to get out in the country, right? Whatever works for you. Um, changing things up. A lot of you, as you know, as you grow in, and you start to find your purpose and you start living your purposeful life, and that's going to be different for everybody, work, love, life, uh, you're going to start attracting in the right energies, the right people. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing. And uh, if you haven't experienced that, you soon will. That's why I tell you a lot of you single people, you need to get out there and start meeting others. You need to start going on dates, okay? I know with these COVID restrictions, it's a little weird. Dates are a little different. You Maybe you can figure out how to... Uh, I don't care if it's like a day date. Maybe you just go sit in the park or, or something like that in an open air space just so you can talk and converse. Uh, and, and don't be afraid to look at people who you wouldn't normally look at. If anything, just for the conversation, right? Uh, intellectual stimulation. Some of you, if they, uh, if they are a business owner, right? Or they got... Uh, Knowledge in an area. Spending some time with them. You know, maybe you both can just rack each other's brains if you're a, if you got like writer's block, right? Or you're trying to figure out uh, your next business move. What's your next business move? Some of you with, with uh, what you want to offer product wise. Uh, I know I'm looking at different reading styles. Uh, thinking of different ways for collaborations. Uh, really taking what's out there and, and switching it up, right? Changing things around. Beautiful energy. Let's throw some Palo Santos on here for y'all. Woo, God protects me and God fights my battles. No weapon formed in spirit or physical against me shall prosper. I'm highly favored 
and protected from all evil, as is my beautiful collective. Y'all, I love your energies. I love, 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 love the energies, okay? A lot of you, hermit mode, Virgo, her, uh, Virgo, Virgo, hermit mode, Virgo, hermit mode, Virgo. Uh, that's interesting. Maybe that's a acronym for something. Uh, seven of Cups here. Options. You're thinking, 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 which is good. This now, this ain't. The Seven of Cups isn't solely thinking about love, right? This is you're thinking about your money, your stability, your house. Maybe some of you want to redecorate, change things up a little bit. You're getting a little tired of looking at the same colored walls. You're just out thinking, looking at options, looking at a lot of things. Beautiful energy. And just kind of being quiet, sitting at home. Uh, okay, this is interesting. Six of Wands in reverse with the Eight of Wands in reverse. Yeah, um, for a lot of you, and with the Nine of Wands in reverse at the bottom of the deck. Go ghost, go silent, okay? A lot of you, get off your fucking social media platforms. Don't spend so much time. You know, if your phone's got that option, have it where it cuts you off. Like you, some of y'all do your kids, right? Only spend X amount of time. Don't let, don't let those energies, uh, comments, um... The, how do you want to put it? The representations that others present uh, factor into your life choices, okay? A lot of you, all this wands in reverse. Sometimes you just need to sit down and really think. Some of you business cards, right? Your branding, uh, what, what your next move is going to be. And some of y'all, seriously, maybe you can do like a, uh, a networking date. Uh, some of y'all could meet somebody. Uh, if you're uh, looking at printing up logos, right? Like a, uh, a printing design, uh, logo design. Yeah, a lot of you, you're, you need to take, yeah, look at this. You need to take a break, go silent, and just work on you. Work on what you got going on right now. Work on what's going to bring your stability, right? Because this is what's going to bring more work towards you. This is what's going to bring more opportunities towards you. Those of you out there looking for work, right? Now's the time to go in and really focus. Look at different career uh, options out there. If you don't really know what you're interested in, seeing what's out there, seeing what the wages are. Strength here with the Three of Cups. Uh, uh, I'm really feeling with this Three of Cups. This Three of Cups is like the Seven of Cups here. You know, Seven and the Ten. Some of you, this is like trusted advice from maybe your, your friends and family, business associates, people that you trust. Uh, some of you, this could be if you're working for like a temp agency or those of you on the unemployment rolls, maybe some of you uh, college admissions, uh, working with other people to help you figure out, figure out maybe some of your options, right? Beautiful energy. Some of you, this is working with people that's going to help you in your business or help you on your career path. <coughs> those of you that have agents, those of you that have, uh, I'm getting like freelance work, freelance work. Those of you that uh, uh, freelance work, hiring halls. I know my brother used to work for a hiring hall. He did uh, road work and they would uh, get jobs through like the hiring hall. <sighs> I want to say union, too. Those of you that maybe you're dealing with your union. See, I love this diversity of people because, you know, you get, uh, like, the intellectuals, the, the collegiate people, and then you get, like, the regular down-to-earth people, right? Daddy was a union member for 13 years. I am. International uh, Aerospace Mechanics and Engineers. Uh, I should be shot for not knowing that. I am. It's the one that NASA has. Uh, and Boeing. Bo okay, Boeing. Yeah, maybe some of y'all work for Boeing. Uh, you know, there you go. But this is good positive energy. These seven cards right here, seven of cups, seven of cards. Seven of cups, seven of cards. Seven cups, seven cards here. 
This did, this is trusted communication, trusted advice that's going to add to your trajectory, your pentacles, your growth, your movement forward. But a lot of you, you got to just sit your ass down. Just sit down and take some time to really think. Think and focus. What would be the best option for you? Those of you wanting to rebrand, right? Maybe some of you are looking at different branding ideas. When you go out, uh, if you get the chance to go out to different stores and, and seeing how they brand their products, seeing how they tag their products, seeing uh, the different options in, in labels and different fonts and all that stuff. I'm drawn to that. Uh, you remember on SNL, the avatar being in a papyrus and that driving uh, Ryan Gosling crazy? You know, some of y'all, maybe you're. it is something as simple as that. Trying to decide the font you want to use. For your letterhead, for your resumes, the font you want to use, for your business cards, for your advertising. Those of you with um, getting a storefront, maybe some of you are thinking about getting a storefront, right? What are your options? And it's okay to just sit your ass down, go hermit mode, and really think. Really think. I think this is going to be more of a business reading because... I think a lot of people are in that energy. I think a lot of you are getting driven to, to think outside the box, right? Um, a lot of you working from home, right? Maybe you're able to pick up other jobs. Y'all, I did not realize, I was watching one of them van lifer videos about jobs that van lifers can do on the road, that there's actually people that go through and uh, uh, prioritize people's emails for them. They just kind of do that off-site. So the, yeah, there's jobs like that that exist. So maybe some of you, when you're on the computer, going through and looking at jobs like that, right? This is like just focusing your time and energy. Now, if you're not doing a business, this is just you if you're job hunting. This is just you if you're wanting to take on another job, trying to see if you can fit something else in. You know, maybe going into the holidays, you'd like to have a little extra money coming in. A beautiful energy, and this is talking to people who are going to give you good, strong, trusted advice that's going to be positive and uh, allow your growth or help you on the path in which you would like to grow. Beautiful energy. But that, that Virgo, just kind of pull them back. You're, it's silent, but you're actually doing the work. You know, sometimes... You, you got to do the work in the background, especially if you ain't got others that, that do the work for you and you're just presenting it, right? This is doing the work. Some of you, uh, doing the, the, the spiritual work you need to do, doing the healing that you need to do. A lot of this, so, so much beautiful energy. The seven of cups there with the three of cups, really trusting who you get advice from, really trusting your gut, your instincts, your emotions, right? Not getting led by your emotions. A lot of it, okay, going back to the branding and uh, packaging of your merchandise, right? Realizing the different colors affect uh, people's emotional response. You know, certain colors, certain advertising techniques work to draw attention to your product. What's going to fit with what you do? Got some business people up in here. Some of y'all need to be working on your five streams of income, okay? And this is going to be, I keep telling y'all, 2022 is going to be a good year. Okay, 2022 is going to be a good year. We've had these COVID restrictions, so people have been able to kind of work with it, right? You know what the parameters are now. So now you're a little smarter. So looking forward, you're able to figure out other ways of doing things, right? Some of you that have uh, had typical jobs are trying to figure out jobs you can do if by chance you are stuck at home, right? Beautiful energy. Death in reverse, the nine of swords, six of swords with the eight of swords. Yeah, okay. See, as a lot of you, this is your journey. If you've been trapped and stuck, now the nine of swords is that, it, it's, 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 it's not that pretty energy, right? This is when you, the sleepless nights and the over-worrying and the over-concern. A lot of that, you want to move away from that energy. Some of y'all could be coming out of it. Hopefully, y'all ain't coming through it. But uh, you want to avoid this. And the only way you could avoid this right now 
is by making the smart decisions. Taking the time to distance yourself and think about your next moves, your next projects, your next area of focus. So when you move in the direction you want to go, you're not going to feel trapped or stuck. Because a lot of you are coming. You see, you can read these cards either way. You're either coming from a situation that you felt stuck in and you're moving on to better water. So if you're stuck at a job you don't like or you're stuck in an area of a field of communication, something along that lines that you're not happy in, you can move away to, to better. This is the growth. But it, you have to take the time to figure out the hiccups in the road, the obstacles, anything that might have held you up before in the past. For a lot of you, business related, right? This is getting out there and looking at your options, especially if you're thinking about taking on another job or what you're working on currently. With the page of pentacles here, a lot of you, this is new ideas. This is how you get out of this energy. This is how you keep from getting stuck in your head. You should constantly, always be thinking about new ideas new concepts, new product ideas, whatever it is in your life, new ways of doing things, new ways of looking at things, uh, spiritual, spiritually, uh, financially, in your love life, right? With uh, your money, uh, a lot of you, um, I was drawn to the reef on this. Maybe you want to change up your like decor. You're wanting to do like a whole change. Change is good, right? This is such beautiful energy. If it's not business related, this is just life related. Opportunities coming in. Page is new opportunities coming in. Knight of Pentacles is opportunities coming in that you've been working on for a while, right? You put the time and effort in. You've gotten good, strong, sage advice from people that you trust to help you move forward in the energy that you need. For some of you, that's just having a good circle of friends that you can talk to and bounce off ideas and you all help each other, right? Yeah, a lot of you aren't really hung up on toxic energies from the past, right? Uh, if you're dealing with love situations, you've got to let that go. You know what's up and you're ready for the new. Some of you, you're just... Uh, you're worried about you. That There we go. Archangel Michael paying a visit. I'm telling y'all, you need a quick answer. Archangel Michael, man. But you got to pay attention when you put your prayers out there, right? Spirit can't give you the answers and you not pay attention, right? So pay attention. What, what else we got on this Seven of Cups? This Seven of Cups is so... It's got so many different options. You know, you got seven options right there. So you got options. This is, you got options. What you want. What you want. What you want. Maybe some of y'all are buying a car and you're looking at the options that you got, right? This is options. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? I see, I see the Knight of Wands. So take an action here. So Seven of Swords. Uh, Knight of Wands in the upright. Okay. High Priestess here with the Queen of Pentacles. Now, the way I'm seeing this, y'all, is that Seven of uh, Swords is looking over here at that Page of Pentacles, right? And then we got this Knight of Wands, this High Priestess, and this Queen of Pentacles energy. Let's see what that Queen of Pentacles energy. For some of you, if you've been uh, looking for another job or something like that, you could have a rat that's trying to tell your boss that you're thinking about uh, moving on. Uh, clarify this Queen of Pentacles energy, please, and thank you. For some of you, this is moving on in silence to your destiny. You go from the Page of Pentacles to the Knight of Pentacles. That's eventually going to put you in that Queen of Pentacles energy. But it's all going to be determined by the options that you choose. The choices that you make, getting good sage advice. But now for some of you, if, you're, if you currently have a job and you're thinking about uh, looking and you... Yo, baby, don't tell your co-workers because someone may be ratting your ass out, okay? Yeah, the moon in reverse with the king of cups in reverse. The will of fortune, 
Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck, the Emperor in reverse, Eight of Pentacles. Uh, definitely for some of you, pay attention if this is work-related. Uh, some of you work-related, you're going to get a job offer. So if you had a masculine boss, you had a man boss before, maybe your new boss is going to be a woman. Some of y'all may be switching it up, right? Or maybe uh, there's a changeover in management and you go from having a man boss to a, a female boss and this female boss is going to be fucking awesome, okay? She's going to have her shit together and y'all going to get along great. Perhaps if you had issues with the, the male boss in the past, this fe you and this female boss are going to get along great. And she's going to be very good. If it's not a work situation, you're going to meet somebody in business that's going to be amazing. Uh, see, I'm not really feeling love because we got the Ace of Cups here in reverse and the Hierophant. So for a lot of you, God's saying, don't worry about love right now. Don't focus on love. I do want y'all out there dating, right? I want you meeting people because a lot of you are going to get inspired. But use your date dates as sort of like networking. But don't be obvious about it, right? Maybe if you're on them sites, see what kind of job field that they're in. And if you were interested in that, maybe just have a date because that'd be a good way to keep the conversation going, right? You could say, well, you know what? I've been thinking about getting in that area of work. What do you think? Do you like it? What are the options in there? You know, talking to people who are actually on the inside that know how uh, different career fields work, right? That way you can, you're, it's like, I'm telling y'all, y'all need to start freaking uh, multitasking when you're doing things, right? You can get out there, go on dates, but at the same time, you can learn something, Right? You can pick this person's brain. So even if the date was kind of shit, uh, maybe you're going to learn something. And that's going to give you a good uh, idea if this person can communicate. You're going to see, uh, you can get the answers that you need. Maybe it's for a company. You can just say like, well, you know what? I thought about that. What do you think about them? Uh, and you might actually meet a person. If not, you've had a good date. You got a little information on uh, an area that you were interested in, Right. Before you spend money on, on getting a degree in something, talk to somebody that's had that degree for a while and ask them how the growth opportunity is. Because see, even here with the Semper in reverse, a lot of you, uh, it's going to be a feminine energy that's going to be very positive. A feminine energy is going to come into your life. Now, it could be with the Queen of Wands, uh, a, a, a masculine energy uh, that's a little more... Uh, <laughs> I don't want to say effeminate, but, you know, it could be a gay guy, okay? This gay guy is going to change your life because you're going to love working with him, okay? Maybe this emperor energy in reverse. So we could have a gay man here, we could have a woman, and then we got this emperor in reverse. The masculine's going to be out because, you know, you're going to work better with this queen of wands energy, okay? Because the moon here, queen of pentacles here, the moon in reverse here at this king of cups... Now, you know what I really feel for a lot of you? Once once you uh, once you let go of your hold, this is that let go and let God and trust. The Queen of Pentacles always trusts she's got her security. She's smart enough to make the decision she needs to make, to stand in her strength and power to do what she needs to do, right? So as soon as you learn to let go and let God, just let the universe do its thing, right? As long as you're making smart decisions, God's going to protect you, right? That's when this King of Cups is going to show up. But this is kind of hidden. This is what you're not supposed to see. Because Queen of Pentacles here, I don't think you're going to give to this King of Cups. So if this was uh, uh, someone from the past or, or someone that you dealt with, uh, you're not going to give to this. It's like you're going to see what you need to see. But I'm really feeling this is like the good that's coming in. As soon as you learn to let go and let God and trust that the decisions you made were smart. And you're protected. Following your destiny, following your heart, following what you know you need to do. Trusting. And as you trust. That's when the good comes in. But a lot of you got to learn to let go and let God. Let go and let God. Especially if your emotions have held you up before in the past. Spirit's like, no, 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 no. Don't do that. Page of Wands in reverse, though. I don't want you to not get out there and meet people. Because you're all going to have to meet your past. 
Not the past person per se, but the past energies. Uh, you have to. You have to. That's your, uh, some of you, that's seven of cups. That's you swiping left or right on a dating site, right? Uh, figure out what the hell you want. But you're not going to rush into it. You know what I mean? You're going to be smart about it. A lot of you figure out how the hell to make it a networking thing. But don't be obvious about it. Maybe, you know, at the beginning of the date, if there's kind of a law, just say, well, you know, I seen you did this for, a, uh, maybe it's an engineer. I seen you're an engineer, and I was wondering how you like that uh, career choice. You know, I've been thinking about maybe going back to school or, or thinking about studying it. What do you think? And then you can see if they really get animated and how much they love what they do. And for a lot of you, that could unbreak the conversation, where if it don't turn out to be a dating relationship... Maybe a friend, a, a person that could give you some guidance and some good advice, right? You know, some of these people want to pay for an education. Well, if they started working for a company, the company would actually help pay for that education. You know what I mean? So maybe some of y'all can get some uh, lessons that way. Seven of Cups here is like that endless possibilities, right? But it's making the right choices. Page of Pentacles to the... King of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, excuse me, to the Queen of Pentacles. That evolution that takes a while to build up. It's making smart decisions that grow, that grow, getting good advice. Some of you look, I mean, look at dating as a networking. If anything else, right, to get you out there. Some of you just need a change of scenery, okay? Change it up a little bit. When was the last time you went to a good museum? To look at some art, to get you out of your head, to get you thinking of uh, uh, different ways to look at a thing. Abstract art, right? Modern art. Maybe go back to the classics. <sighs> Let's see if anything else wants to come out. I don't know how long this video is. Let's see what else wants to come out. Beautiful energy. And a lot of you, it's it's opportunities, it's options. But take an advantage and just go, go in silent for a little bit. This is like taking your notes, writing down your notes, doing your research, really figuring out what, what you want to do, what you want to do. Justice here, balance, equilibrium, right? This is when you, you make the smart decisions, right? You balance the equation. You're balancing out the playing field. A lot of you, this is getting your balance. Justice. This is, who's justice, y'all? I'm drawing a... Is that Libra? That's Libra energy. Libra. That's your air sign. Okay? Uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. That is, uh, you know... A lot of you, this is uh, going to be making decisions when it comes to your business, right? You're going to be able to uh, to make smart decisions. Protecting your business and what you got going on and what you got moving forward. Yeah, Seven of Swords here with this Knight of Wands, the High Priestess. Yeah, see, a lot of you are going to be walking. Yeah, look at this. This is when you take the time. You go into that Hermit Mode energy and you really focus uh, on what it is you want to do. Because a lot of you are bringing in that balance, that beautiful balance. Right? Six of Pentacles here with the freaking Justice card. This is you getting your life in balance, your finances in balance, everything in balance. Yeah, I like this. Uh, how do I? Yeah, you know. But it's moving away from the past, moving away from. Uh, I didn't. It's not like a bad past. You're just, you're looking at different options. This is taking different paths. This is doing things a little different. This is, this is like upgrading, right? Let me upgrade you. And a lot of y'all are, are going to do this without even realizing what the fuck it is you're doing. Because that's how spirit works. When you do what you love, when you follow your instincts, when you follow your gut, when you trust it. You walk right into your abundance. You walk right into your peace and happiness. Work, love, and life, right? This is balance all around. This is trusting. Now, the high priestess in reverse, I'm not feeling as a negative energy because a lot of you are, are focusing on that and you're moving away from that energy. High priestess, king of cups in reverse, the moon in reverse... 
and the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, a lot of you, this 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 high priestess energy now with the King of Cups showing up here, the moon in reverse, and this Knight of Pentacles. Now, for some of you, this could be someone from the past that's kind of been watching what you're doing. But for a lot of you, I think it's just you're going to bring this luck in like serendipitously. You know what I mean? Just by the smart decisions that you make because you're bringing balance into your life, right? All this beautiful pentacles energy, beautiful pentacles energy. But for some of you, it might be walking away from the old way you've done things, rethinking, rethinking your process, rethinking your job, rethinking how you do things, just switching it up, but really going in and focusing on what you need to do. Because at the end of the day, we got movement here. Knight of Pentacles. A lot of you, this was slow in the making, right? You could have spent years trying to get your degree or years trying to get in the right job or the promotion that you wanted. And eventually you will get there. Now's the time to think about the decisions you need to make. 2022 is going to be your year, okay? This is like the upgrade time. Some of you, this is setting that ball in motion where you sit down. Sit down with your fucking pen and paper and figure out what it is you want and different ways of getting there, okay? Being more creative. Okay, let's throw the bell on that and get the hell up out of here. You can ring my bell, ring my bell, ring a ring a ring, but come on. The Page of Pentacles to the Knight of Pentacles to the Queen of Pentacles, ending with the Six of Pentacles and the Justice card. This is growth and evolution. But a lot of you right now, now is the time to focus. Anything you want to rethink, start putting that into motion. And get out there and date. If anything, use it as a chance to, to uh, understand a career field if you're interested in that. Or, you know, just get out there. Get out there, meet people. Peace, love, and light.